Hi, I'm Joe White. Welcome to Behind the Curtain, episode number 58. We are here tonight to review television shows. About a month or so ago, we did March Madness movie brackets, and we had 64 movies, and it ended up having Raiders of the Lost Ark be the winner. Tonight, we have 128 different TV shows, ranging from seven brackets of comedy, some wholesome shows, some TV talk variety, sci-fi, mystery, fantasy, drama, detectives. And as you can see from behind me, all of these wonderful people are waiting anxiously to see if their show makes it out of the 128 to the 64. And then eventually 64 to 32 and all the way to number one. So let's see who wins. Tonight we are going to be talking with a good friend of mine, Joe Zamansky, as well as Larson Jones, who eventually will show up. And we can talk about the 128 TV shows that made the bracket, some that didn't, and we'll talk about that. And we'll talk about the winners and see how far we think they can advance. So hopefully this will bring back some good memories of shows you've liked growing up and watching today and enjoy it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. TV Brackets. So, okay, so this is round one. I, this, did, this didn't surprise me that much. Seinfeld sweep. The only, no, I will. Only... Sorry, go ahead. No, I said the, there was only two of this entire bracket. There's, there's a lot. There's 128 shows. Yeah. It took a while to tally the scores. <laughs> but Sleep but, uh, is highly overrated. There's only two matchups that were a clean sweep. Okay. There's only There's only two matchups that were a clean sweep. This one. Yeah. What do you think the other one was? Oh, I I even have to look at the I'd have to look at the matchups again. Hang yeah. on, because I I think I do have your bracket up. So let me. Yep. Okay. Let me pull the bracket back up, and then I'll go through and give you what I think the other clean sweep was. Okay. I think the other clean sweep was. Hmm. Interesting. Even though, because I don't think it's it was going to be, but I I'll say cheers over the Golden Girls. No, 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 no. Listen, so yeah, it, it, that's a tough one. I mean, I looked at there was, when I looked at the numbers, you'll see um, that there was there was it two sweeps. This one, the Seinfeld over Beat was. Beat sweep. Yeah. Everybody voted. And there were some people who didn't. It was in the sci fi section. In the sci fi section. Okay. Uh, hmm. Which I renamed when oh, I put around. Give me Game, what was Game of Thrones because I voted for Doctor Who. <laughs> 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 okay, hang on. Scratch that. Uh, wow. Uh, uh, Star Trek? No. Against Westworld? No. Westworld actually, eh, well, Star Trek won big, but, but Westworld got a fair amount of votes. Well, all right. The only other, though, uh, I, I, I'm just guessing at this point, it would be lost. I didn't think it, they they won big, fans. but no, no. Uh, look at Sci-Fi 2. Uh, it surprised me because every time I'm logging to vote, it's like another one, another one, another one, another one. The Twilight Zone? Yes. Twilight Zone beat out the outer limits. See, I thought you would have had at least a couple of people who would have gone outer limits. I mean, I like that show too, but I didn't think that it was one of those. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's Twilight Zone. All right, so let me go back to sharing screen again. I don't know what it is again. Okay, share screen. I'll run through some of the here. All right, can you see that? All right, so Seinfeld, Odd Couple, Dick Van Dyke, and Friends. See, now I will say this. I thought that the comedy one was mm -hmm. by far your best bracket. Best meaning best matchup? Like, like no, had the best shows in there. Like, I think some of these could have won their own brackets that like aren't going to, yeah. you know, like Seinfeld yeah. or Friends both aren't going to win. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to show you what I did for the second round matchups for the winners. 
I actually took the team, the people that got the most votes, and I ranked them in order of the highest ranking. So Seinfeld got the most votes for there. So they number, they're the number one seed. They'll be playing the number whatever thirty seed, whatever it is. And I kind of matched up the numbers, and you'll see how I did that. So okay. comedy. Well, that's something interesting. And then I'm like keeping, I, said, I, I love this comedy one bracket. This had some great, I mean, you know how much I love the odd couple. Oh, I know, I know. And I'm and, glad that won. And, but know, now, see, I, I'm not, for me too, so. but what I'm not doing is Seinfeld against odd couple now. I'm not doing right. Dick Van Dyke against friends. But yep. if I looked at these eight, I think Seinfeld, deep I like. I love Seinfeld's classic. Odd couple, I love. But I love Curb because. Yeah. Larry David's just an amazing thing. So, is it, so I kind of themed it. There was a lot of Veep, Seinfeld, Curb in there, but um, that's true. I didn't realize it. I didn't think of that, but that when I first looked at it, but I just looked kinda, at the yeah. bracket as overall the strongest of the shows. Like I think all these are great shows. So, comedy two. It was nip and tuck there. Frazier and the Office kept going yeah. back and forth. I can see that. Uh, uh, people went with the Simpsons. Four or five people uh, abstained from that. Really? They don't watch comedy I'm, cartoons. I yeah. Oh, some of the weird. older people just said, I don't watch that. Um, I forget. What, I, I mean, I didn't vote. I only voted once this entire thing. I only needed, I needed, had to do one tiebreaker. Right. What it was, but. So, comedy three. This one is, uh, I thought, uh, I'm surprised, not surprised at all, but I think that uh, I, that Sanford and Son made a much of a, a dent into Mary Tom Lawyer. I always thought that, I thought that this was clear winners, but Bob Newhart's a great joke, too. Well, yeah, I mean, th this one from the shows, but this one, I, I, like, only half of mine came out. It's two out of four. Like, it was all in and all in the family, because so I think that's great. I did actually go to Jefferson's over Happy Days. Um, I did go Mary Tyler more, but I love Taxi. I mean, I, I figured it was going to lose, but I love Taxi. Well, my favorite Taxi ever was basically doing the show right now. The, uh, the, the, uh, my favorite Taxi ever was when, they, when Jim was taking his driving test. Oh, yeah, that, that's hysterical. <laughs> and that show gave us one of the great characters of all time in Jim Ignatowski. Jim Ignatowski, Louis De Palma. Um, um, I'm a little Bobby, surprised they could beat that badly. It, I think MASH know? is classic. And then once but, again, this is another one where I look at, you know, Taxi could have probably beat San Francisco and Mary Tyler Moore. You know, I think yeah. it, had, it had opportunities there. Uh, when I was doing this originally, when I tried to get 64, I couldn't just limit it. I, it just kept growing and growing and growing. Yeah. How many four? Now here's probably a bunch of shows that the Comedy three and two may have beaten, but one, you know, like I think Roseanne yeah. and Sanders, Cosby. There was no negative Cosby show connotations from him, but maybe he was just going up against faulty powers. Yeah, I mean, I was curious about that myself, thinking, you know, would people vote for it? Because at first, when I scanned the list, I didn't see it. So I was like, oh, Joe left it off. He didn't want to start anything. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, no, wait, there it is. Uh, Got to put it in. But I think I, I think the matchup, I think you're right. Since it was Faulty Towers, I just don't, you know. Yeah. I think if he'd been matched against any other show that people recognized. Well, it'll be interesting he, to see what he gets matched up against in the next round. But Yeah. Gilligan um, versus Hogan. That's a tough one. I love them both. It's like they're so classic yeah. in their own way. I know. I did go Gilligan's Island on that one, though. So in this one, I was four for four. It came out the way that I voted. Oh, it um, did? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Alpha, I'm not a huge fan of, but it actually came when I ran the, the listings of top comedy shows. It came in the, in the top 30 for some reason. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't see it, but. Was not one of my favorite shows like, uh, either. So I don't think I was going to vote for that regardless of any of the matchups. I think I would have went against Alpha. Alpha's going last. If it was going up against no one, Alpha loses. Loses. Comedy 5, Coach and Growing Pains was really tight. Yeah, and the other one was the Road of Maud one. That that was literally yeah. tied like six times. Every time, it seemed like everyone Maud, Road of Maud, Road. It was like Bing, 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 Bing. Every Maud, time something Maud, came Maud, in. Maud, Maud on that one. Well, you know, two shows. I think not necessarily similar from the settings, but tone and time that they were out. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, both. So I think those shows people could look at as almost being in direct competition when they were on the air, mm -hmm. you know, head to head, not like a matchup here. Yeah. Um, and facts yeah, of life, I different think, strokes, so kind of offshoot. I was debating whether I match them up against each other. I kind of wanted to see yeah. how far they get. But once again, well, it's shows, they both got 32. Yeah. And I think a lot <laughs> of people both got the same percentage. So that could have been a good matchup. That could have been a tie. Could have been a tie. Could have been a tie. <laughs> but I had, had a little tiebreak. <laughs> Comedy six. People yelled at me for Benson versus Chico and the Man. They said these two shouldn't have never been on here ever. But I, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't say. Well, I don't know. I think, is Comedy 6 the last one? Seven. Seven is the last one? Because there is a show that I like that I was a little surprised that you left off the list. How I Met Your Mother? <laughs> oh, God. Look, if, if, if your next goal is the worst TV shows in history. Just put that, that out there. Don't even do the brackets. That one's going to win. You might as well put that one in the final. <laughs> Just, Just see who it matches up against. See no. all the way oh. Uh, a little surprised everybody loves Raymond. You know, that is a favorite show of mine, too. And I don't know why that's Didn't not make there. The list. No. Yeah. You know, there's always one that I probably, you know. And I look at this list here and I say, how many have I seen? I'm not a huge Murphy Brown and Designing Women fan. Yeah. But I, it, it, that show didn't make the top 50 all-time comedy. So, like, I, I was actually going through a, a AFI or a te television, not AFI. The AFI did the films, but. Right, but there's all time, a there's there's all like time comedy shows from, from, from TV right Guide, from TV Guide all time comedies. I just yeah. looked at them and I, I didn't sell. So. Uh, but I, I matched up the Lucy versus Honeymooners for the old timers. So at least one of them should make it. Well, I think the Honeymooners were probably too old. <laughs> but well, they only made forty nine shows of that thing, and uh, like yeah, early fifties. Yeah, early fifties. Yeah, yeah um, probably a little too old for that, but um. Benson, Night Court, I think who's the boss. I think this is another one that went. Mm -hmm. And I did go with Lucy. So, yeah. Yeah. And final seven. Oh, what? devastating news right here. Wait, which one is that? <laughs> How could Soap not win? Wait a second. And groundbreaking television. Invisible. <laughs> I am no longer here. The cast, the writing, that... It only gets 34%. Like, how many votes is that? Like, you break down the raw numbers. Is that like eight votes or whatever? I mean, um, I have the raw numbers right here as well. But uh, Soap at 11, and Wonder Years got 21 out of the 32 votes. Wow. And Three's Company lost, too? Is that what it says? Yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, that was a close one. That one, and, and it's, that not, is, it's yeah. Breeze Company. I, I left off the S, but the, the apostrophe in the S. Yeah, that's that's totally. That's why they lost. I think well, they knew. Oh, maybe you didn't know who it was. <laughs> Who's three company? Is that know. some kind of Canadian show? <laughs> My favorite soap moment ever was when the you know the guy had the dummy. I forget it was his name, Jay. Yeah, Jay Johnstone had Jay Johnstone. Um, Bob. Had the dummy. Bob was and the man, dummy. And Bob was a dummy. He got so mad at it, he threw him in the refrigerator, shut the door on him, and he walked away. Then a couple minutes later, he comes back and opens the door, and he's, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He goes, okay, don't worry about it. It's okay. Oh, and by the way, the light stays on when you close it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I love that. I don't know why those things pop in my mind. But uh, Wonder Years is a good show. Yeah, I just, you know, and this gets into a little bit more detail, just for what soap was at the time and what it did, right? I mean, yeah. it's part of that. And I think that cast, you know, w was perfect. And, you know, I think they were all great at comedy. I think it was groundbreaking for its time. Um, yeah, a little disappointed in that one. Surprised that Get Smart won by such a large, I, I thought Family Ties would give it a much tougher run. Would you believe it won by 50%? <laughs> the, the shows that I kind of left off with some of the shows that are still on, like Modern Family, Goldbergs. I know Modern Family just ended. I, I kind of wanted to have these people that already like ran, had their run. I could have inserted uh, Modern Family. I could have inserted the uh, one the, that ended a few years ago with uh, another Patricia Heaton one. Yeah, yeah. I suppose, but no. you know, the argument for doing it this way, I think, in one sense, is give these shows a, a chance to. You know, in like the test of time, you do over time, yep. right? Is it's like let people think about it now. Like, you some of these shows we watch 
40 years ago? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Oh, I know. Do they still hold, do they still hold up? Do you still find them funny? Do you still think about them? Quote lines, whatever. So I think it's fine that you left off a lot of, you know, you didn't want to do everything from 2005. I mean, that, yeah, that would have been like, yeah. okay, that's. Yeah. yeah. So I kind of like, I it's just, it could have done all comedy, could have kept going comedy, but I said, let me throw yeah. some other shows in there for a TV break off. So I did seven comedies. I was thinking of eight. They said, I ended up going with the wholesome shows. Or Nanny and the Professor got <laughs> smacked. Oh, that was almost a that was almost a shutout. That was almost a shutout. Somebody voted for Nanny and the Professor. Must must not like Darren for some reason. Now maybe they didn't like the Bombay. Dick York and Dick Sargent. They just were like, ah, forget it. That's all. Who can kill them me. off and don't recap? Oh, you, um, you got surprise. The Partridge Family won. I thought that was going to be a win for the Love Boat Easy. I actually was debating, but I. I the one I was debating was to try to match these up. I was thinking of I Dream of Genie versus Bewitched, Archer Tramley versus The Brady Bunch, and Love Boat versus Fantasy Island, and leaving out Annie and the Professor. That was one debate that I had. I, you know, I thought I, you think about it too much about what the brackets. Are. Brady Bunch to me was that's a classic, but I love I Dream of Genie. There's not there's not one on here that I haven't probably watched. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. I mean I've seen all of them. Sure. Uh, the talk variety really becomes interesting. Uh, it's the old people went against the young people, and the old people, Carol Burnett, <laughs> beat up on SNL. Although SNL was good, Sonny and Cher didn't have a chance. Yeah, uh, Conan over SCTV, but the Leno versus Letterman literally went back and forth. I tell you, ah, ah. <laughs> okay, Jay. <laughs> well, look, I you go. You go back to when they first started and he left to go to CBS, right? I mean, that was what the audience was, right? One, yeah. one week, one of them wins in the ratings, the other, yeah. the other one did. So I'm not surprised no, sure. that that one, I thought that one would be close. It was a one voter. And I didn't have to vote there, but that was uh, one voter. Uh, going to Mysteries, first one. I'm happy Rockford Files won. Surprised yeah. that people remembered that, but <laughs> the older contingent really got in there. I love the opening. The tape recorder all the time. Yeah, the uh, uh, answering machine, yeah, and they leave the yeah. message, and then it goes right into a great opening theme song. Yeah, oh my God, that's another one I was debating, we were thinking about doing is uh, theme songs, not necessarily the show itself, but just the theme yeah. song. You'd have to get snippets, though. That'd be cool for people to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get this whole snippets and click on. So Columbo, I was happy one. Law and Order, NYPD Blue. I do like NYPD Blue, but the initial seasons... Um, and then it, Jimmy Smith joined it, but I, I don't know. It's an yeah, I would have a tendency to agree with you. I think when it started, it looked like it had a long, good run yeah. in front of it, but never materialized. Detective 2. Ah, Quincy. Door. Oh. A bunch of, oh. bunch of people oh. who want to see Farrah, wow. you know, reliving their childhood with Farrah Fawcett and uh, Cheryl Ladd and Jacqueline Smith. Yeah, but that was like one season of Farrah Fawcett or two at the most. And oh, I think she was on once and they made her come back if she wanted to get out of a contract. That was this, uh, this bracket hurts. <laughs> so I know, you, I, thought, I thought you did Murder, She Wrote. I did. Matlock, Quincy, did. and Monk. I did. That, yeah, I think that's right. what. Yeah. Those are my four votes. I would have uh, done Quincy, I mean, Quincy Matlock, I Murder, and Monk. Yeah, I, I start to you know, cool. But... Matlock and Kojak was a tough one. I just was never a big Kojak fan. Like, that wasn't a big a show that I watched a lot. Mm -hmm. um, whereas Matlock, it was. So that kind of stuck with, okay, then let's do Matt, you know, let's go Matlock. Mm -hmm. um, Murder, she wrote again, I loved. I know that looks like it was kind of a close vote, but couldn't stop CSI. And Monk, I'm happy about. At least I got to the next round. We'll see where it matches up. Did you see the on Peacock TV the Monk piece that he's that he did uh, to come back? They did a Monk. Go go to uh, Google Peacock TV. Yeah, and, I can get it through and, Xfinity. And, yeah, they have it on. Yeah, there. but yeah, it's not free. But it's it's a seven minute clip. You can get it online too. It's and I watched it last night. It's Monk coming back in today's environment. He goes, see, I told you, I was right. I had the light. <laughs> and he. And it, and it was he had all he had everybody there. He had Stottlemyre, he had Natalie, he had uh Oh, I'll have to look other? at it. It's it's totally worth it. Totally worth it. Really fun. Really funny stuff. And I love it. 
you got to watch it. You got to watch it. Tell me what you think. But anyway, in honor of Tony Shalhoub, yeah, that was great. Heard it three. Uh, Did you vote hard heart? I lost every one on this. No, I won one. You won one. This one hurts you too. I told you, I'm getting creamed in the mystery detective. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I, again, I wasn't the biggest Magnum fan, Tom Selleck, you know, whatever. I did like Quantum Leap with Scott Bakula. I, yep. it, was, it was a great show. I did like Moonlighting, so I went there. I loved Remington Steel. I can't believe it lost to Miami Vice. The quality of those shows isn't even close. Mm -hmm. Now, Remington and Steel I, was Stephanie Zimblist and Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. yeah. It was a great show. Um, and then I went heart to heart over MacGyver again, not a real fan of the, the, the first one. And I did like heart to heart. Um, so yeah, I am getting creamed in the mystery detective sections. Were there any mystery detective shows that didn't make the cut that you saw it should have made? That's the um, end we did. I did three of these. You know, the only ones, and it would have been hard to do that had you pulled in more of, do you remember the Sunday Night Mystery movies that Columbo was a, a yeah. part of, right? You got McMillan and Wife, you, you got McCloud. You could have went McMillan and Wife, you yeah. could have went McCloud, you could have went Banachek, you could have went, you know, depending how far down you wanted to oh, go, right? Of, there was Ed Ramsey, there was the Snoop Sisters, Get Christy Love, I mean, you could have, I mean, that's where Quincy well, started. You could, yeah, I could have, uh, you could have had, um, just do a, oh, uh, uh, oh, Cannon, Cannon, uh, yeah, Dink and the Fat Man. Uh, yep. Long Street, remember Long Street? Um, Very I don't. short. Run. Yeah, it wasn't long enough to be on there. It was uh, James Franciscus played a blind man? So I mean, here again, Iron Side talked about with comedy, right? You, we probably could have done one of these if you just yeah. had gone yep. mystery and detective and wanted to do it that, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you could have always expanded the field. Um, but I mean, I'm not, I think you got a lot of good. I mean, everyone that you had out here, I I watched and was aware of. So it isn't like you were grabbing these obscure. <laughs> You know, yeah. season kind of things. And thanks for the uh, uh, feedback on putting in, like, whether it was the original series or not. Or whatever. Yeah. I, I mean, did I have one guy send me a note. It goes, did you mean Quincy MD? Or no, it's ME. It's the medical examiner. Examiner. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, the so other one is both, diagnosis murder. Was, diagnosis murder was missed, I guess, with Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. I mean, again, could have, you know, could have gone there um you know i've been because it, it was it's been on a lot and, and the, joey jeffrey like at the tv show psych mm -hmm. oh yeah yep. uh, with Jake Brode and Dulé yep. hill could have been yeah, i got the whole series i got my daughter loves that show um all right drama one you doing drama oh the walking dead really people love the show 24 one i'm a little i'm, I'm surprised at that not surprised at the West Wing, but I am surprised the 24 one. I thought ER had that one. I thought The Walking Dead had it. I thought The Shield was just. People love that show. I don't know why. I mean, I, I, I was kind of. Six Feet Under had no chance. It was Six Feet Under when it started with The Sopranos. Yeah. They, I think. I don't Tony, think that Tony took them out of the knees. They were there. But, I do uh, like the show, though. I love Six Feet Under. That's one of my. I, I picked that one. I don't know. I mean, I wonder if The Walking Dead suffered from, like, last few season thing. People just not, you know. Not happy with it, not as good, whatever. Well, the surprise what happened to Lost. You'll be surprised what happened to Lost because I think people were not that happy with the way that ended. Let's see. The next one was uh, Breaking Bad, Rush Dynasty, Mad Men Be Not Landing. Dallas hung on of the, of the, you see the theme in that bracket was like yeah. all the Knots, Dynasty, Dallas. Dallas is the only one that made it. Yeah, I thought The Wire would actually do better, but I think Roots was more, I think people felt that that was a groundbreaking show. Yeah, I'd agree. I, I, I think that's why I got the, the votes that it did. Absolutely. I mean, it was the, oh, it was the first, remember, every, and that was one of those things, every, it was on eight consecutive nights, two hours, three hours, and yep. a big finale, and it was just amazing, amazing cast. Groundbreaking oh, TV. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it certainly was. I, I thought that was going to, I didn't think The Wire would beat it I, for those reasons. I just thought mm -hmm. people would look at it as the event that it was and were just like, oh yeah, this has got to win. And drama three. Oh no, sci-fi. 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 That, that was drama three, right? We, that was, dra was drama two. We only did two dramas there. 
Oh, yeah. we only have two? Yeah. Like, yeah, I ended up going with. Uh, scroll up and get, oh, yeah, drama one and two. Yeah. Star Trek beat Westworld. I was surprised. Westworld erratic votes throughout the day. The time. Yeah. Uh, uh, lost over Firefly. It was A lot of people liked Firefly and said, I, I didn't like this matchup because it was tough for them to choose, but they ended up going lost. The long game. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think Firefly would have um, many votes. So, I mean, I mean, I, I liked it, but I just didn't think it would, it would win many votes. I'm a little surprised the X-Files lost. I think that might be a little... I don't know. It's hard to explain. I think it's more people who are probably watching it, and it was a binge show, and I think people probably... It's more relevant now. I mean, X-Files, although it still comes back at you. Yeah, and I mean, and it was a close vote, obviously. You look at the percentages. So, I mean, it's not as though it was... Well, which one did you vote for on this one? I voted for the X-Files. Deep Space Nine versus the Galactic. Yeah, I didn't think Deep Space Nine was going to win that. I didn't think so either. I thought that was going to go. Uh, two, here's the second shutout of the day. <laughs> didn't, didn't get a vote, as, they, as Red Buttons used to say. Didn't get a dinner. Uh, so Star Trek basically won here, and Twin Peaks over Black Mirror. And Game of Thrones, which I was told by my daughter, it's not a sci-fi show, it's a fantasy show. So I changed the next category. Next time, it's a sci-fi slash fantasy bracket, because Game of Thrones advanced to the next. Well, I mean, you could make that argument for a lot of, I mean, you could say that, oh, yeah. like, Lost is fantasy as well. I yep. mean, that doesn't yep. necessarily have to be just sci-fi, but. It's sci-fi slash fantasy in the next bracket. Yep. Uh, okay, and then this is so, so that's the, that's the brackets, so that's, those are the winners. So what I ended up doing was taking the winners, and this is the next bracket. So I took the detective, and I kept them in the detective grouping. Yeah. So this is the, this is all that's left of detective. And I took, of all the votes that came in, I ranked them and seated them in the top order. Colombo got the most votes, Kojak got the least of the winners. Right. So of okay. these who of these who advanced, this is the order of it. So in theory, Colombo was one, and I believe Hill Street was uh, uh, Colombo Monk. Charles, the, so the, the number one seed here, here, and then the lower numbers: Colombo versus Kojak, Monk versus Rockford, Charlie's versus CSI, Magna MacGyver, Moonlighting Miami. A lot of M's, yeah. and Hill Street versus Lawnard. That's the f that is the bracket for Mystery yeah. Detective. Mm. Interesting matchups. I think Colombo Kojak could be interesting. I don't see any runaways. I don't think there's anything in there that totally says I don't think it belongs. No. Maybe with Magnum. Here. Maybe Magnum. I don't know. But, yeah, but I think he's matched up against MacGyver. And for me, yep. anyway, I equate those two as being relatively yep. even. I mean, other yep. people could love Magnum PI and think that, it, you know, MacGyver doesn't stand a chance. But I do look at those mm -hmm. two very comparable. So I did this as the as the bracket. All right. So okay, this is the drama. This is the uh, drama bracket. Toronto's crushed, and then Dallas uh, Breaking Bad versus The Shield, Man Man versus Roots, West Wing versus Twenty Four. That should be an interesting. Well, I think the first two are going to be slam dunks. It's got to be The Sopranos and Breaking Bad based upon the vote. Mm-hmm. Well, you think, well, uh, Sopranos are Breaking Bad, basically a one, two rank. So if you look in this order, the top yeah. bracket is one seed. So two, four, six, eight. So Dallas would be the eight seed. Breaking Bad was two. Mad Men, Roots, West Wing. Those are the ones that make sense. Like, you know. Right. Yeah. Exactly. No, exactly. I think it worked out just the way it should have. And the just eating. Uh, so going to sci-fi slash fantasy, because my <laughs> wonderful daughter, Alyssa, told me I needed to make that change. This is a very interesting matchup, all of them. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be so, tough. Given the fact that, well, Twilight Zone crushed everything, and Stranger Things, as you know, just eked out x file So right. that's how why they came in eight. But I still think that that's a tough battle. Oh, I, I think it is. I, I still think it should be Twilight Zone, but we still have to see what happens. Yeah. I think that's – I think – I think it should be Twilight Zone, Star Trek, Lost, and Next Generation. But you got a lot of GOT people out there that love Game of Thrones. Oh, sure. This is the talk variety bracket. 
once again, Carson against Letterman. He's going up against his all-time hero, <laughs> Conan against Carol. That one's yeah. just going to be how many old, how many of the older people are going to vote for Carol? Well, that, over yeah, Conan. that's what it's going to come down to. Like, how, what, what is the voting? <laughs> what is I think it's going to end up. Skew? I think it's going to be Carson versus Carol. Person. I, that's what I think it's going to end up. Probably, going. yeah, I would agree. I think that's the way that one's going to go. All right, now we get to the comedy brackets. Oh no, I'm sorry, the wholesome shows. Bewitched versus Brady Partridge. Wait, oh, wait a second. I made a mistake there. Made a mistake. <laughs> All right. So who did I leave off of the wholesome show? Oh, Waltons. The Waltons. Yeah. So it's Bewitched. Bewitched versus Waltons. Because Waltons got the lowest vote. And Partridge versus Brady. Bewitched Waltons. So edit that out. <laughs> Bewitched versus. Yeah. I got to make sure I, I fix that in the uh, other bracket. Yeah, I mean, th don't send it out like that. It's gonna yeah. it's gonna ruin our integrity. R ruin the integrity. So while I do that, I'm gonna let, let you take a look. And you can you is am I screen sharing now or no? Or you what do you see on my yes. screen share? I see, you see a comedy breakdown. You see an Excel spreadsheet or do you see I see the way that you've been showing me the brackets, except it's the comedy shows. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm okay, so I've never done the so talking to DD. So okay, I'm just changing this to Walton's. Against Bewitch, so that's going to go out the correct way. All right, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to the brackets. All right, so this is interesting. Seinfeld Benson. So once again, this this is seven different brackets merged in together. Right. And Seinfeld got the most votes. Dick Van Dyke came in second. Happy Days third. Cheers fourth. Burn all the family. So the 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 number one, the first one here is the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams. So seven, fourteen. Wait, don't you have? Do you have another comedy bracket, or is that it? Oh, well, I got two brackets. Bracket. So I got two brackets. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say yeah. So it went down from. Um, oh, Lars is coming in. So. Here's the man, myth, and legend. He's connecting to audio. Man. And myth legend. No, there he is. he is. Not at a desk, reclining on the couch. That's where he should be. He's 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 the man. He's the legend. He's the man who breaks ties. Is what you are. Reclining wait, on the wait, couch. Wait, wait. Is that a mustache? Oh, I don't know what no, he's got. Not unshaven. Yeah, but usually you have the more just. You know. Yeah. You're like around long. here. No, I this thing's gotten so long since this work at home. <laughs> hey, uh, we're on TV. We're being recorded. So oh, keep you out. Ten days. I oh, probably didn't at one point for ten days. You're a crazy man. Very nice. Living dangerous. We we literally just did the whole brackets without you. We we missed you, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I I was doing a call working on my parents' food order. Okay, that's fine. I, no, no problem there. You got to take care of your parents first. Number one stuff. So, yeah, I miss you guys with the lunches and stuff. I'm crying. Right now. Nuts. I haven't been out. I did the last lunch I had was out with anybody. It was like January. <laughs> oh work. yeah. Crazy. So uh, we basically did the entire show. Uh, these are the victories. What do you think? You good? <laughs> I'm, I'm winning the victories. Oh, Those I are the winners. Hold that down a little bit. I'm doing it from my phone. So you're doing it from your phone? Zooming with the phone, yeah. So it's too small, but any surprises? What surprises? Well, I think. Well, let me ask you this. Well, I'll try to see if I could. Uh, I'm going to stop the share for a second, and then I got you guys. So now I'm going to go back to my thing and share. So these, can you see the screen? Is that good? Uh, let's see if I could, uh, how do I have it before? Because it was better before. I don't know what I did. Mm. It looks like you condensed, like framed it almost, right? Yeah. Well, uh, maybe it's in the reading view. He can't read. He's not allowed to read, is he? 
Let's there see. it is. All right. Oh, yeah, I can see that. All right. So oh, the this is the, the glasses are on. He can, he, Gary Tangling. The man is Gary Tangling. He's, <laughs> <laughs> I got three of the four right. Which one did you not get right? Uh, I went with WKRP. So did I. <laughs> I figured Friends was going to win anyway, but I was putting my vote on WKRP. I, same deal. Same deal. Oh, I was surprised that Beef got shut out. Well, not surprised, but I kind of it was interesting to see. I love Odd Couple. Herb's a tough one. Uh, Dick Van Dyke and Friends was good. Friends was going to be tough to, to beat, I think. But who knows? Comedy 2. All right. I, I got all four of those. Does somebody have a TV on in the background? Is that you? Yeah, Survivor's on. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta watch that. I don't, I don't want to hear what's going on in Survivor. I'm gonna watch it later, but that's okay. Uh, it's um, muted, so don't worry about it. Thank you very much. I don't want to. I don't want to find out about uh, who was it. So, anyway, so uh, Simpsons. I can still hear it. No, no you have Joey and Jeff arguing about the strategy involved. Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's okay. All right. Simpsons and South Park to me was it was a, was an interesting. Four or five people abstained. No votes. It was no. It was crazy. Uh, yeah, well, there was a couple Park. where I was like, maybe I just shouldn't vote on these, but I ended up voting on everything. But you got all four of these right. I got all four of those right. And you, Joe? I think. Uh, no, three out of four. Vote. I didn't vote. I only voted once. This entire thing is a tiebreaker. No, I, I, the only one I got wrong was the last one. I went South Park. Comedy 3. Big one. Mesh. Beaten Taxi. I got Gary one Taxi. wrong. Uh, you, put, uh, you picked Bob Newhart, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Well, that should count for like four wrong, because that, that's just not even. I, I've never liked All in the Family. <laughs> and the Wangland Miller played. Comedy four. No backlash to Cosby. Not yet, anyway. Nope. Or, or no one knows what the other show is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not against Walton Towers. I, this is the one where I was like Hogan's Heroes or Gilligan's Eye, and they kind of went back and forth on that. But yep. I got all four of these right. Yeah, you're that's amazing. Right. You're amazing. Uh, comedy five. The Maud Rhoda one went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The one by a vote. Uh, so you, I, three or four. Who did you who did you lose? I hate Alice. Okay. <laughs> so you know you your vote to Rhoda made it win. Oh, it did. Woo! I like I didn't like Maud as a show, so either, but because was and there's Maud. Well, that's because Maud was a spin off of Ball in the Family, so I can yes. see there that carry through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he's easy he stuck around there. Okay, number six. So that means you didn't vote for the Jeffersons either, right? I didn't think so. No, I didn't, but I like the Jeffersons. <laughs> he's not moving on up. Benson versus Chico. I, I got, got, I got crap by correct. this. People are saying, why did I put these two shows at all? But I think both of those are pretty classic shows, I thought. Wait, which two? Benson versus Chico and the Man. People said you shouldn't even have these two in there. I went with shows that were ranked from the TV Guide's top uh, 50, 60 shows. Yeah, Benson was a big show when it was on. With Guillaume. That's a spinoff, too. Of Soap. Soap, yeah. Night Court beat Murphy Brown. Close. And Lucy no. beat the Honeymooners. I, I, I think 50% of the people that voted didn't even know who the Honeymooners were. <laughs> and this is the last comedy one, and Joe was very upset at one of these. So I'm very two of these. Well, very upset. Well, at he's going to be very upset with me because I was right on all four, and no, no, he's no. a big soap fan. No, no. <laughs> You're using the word right incorrectly. <laughs> you <laughs> and a bunch of other people are stupid, but the majority rules. Oh, wow. The Wonder so, Years, huh? 
You got all these right, Jones? Did you ever get anything wrong? Yeah. How many years? Can we you stop brought? saying he got them right? Okay. He picked the same one that other people picked. To that win. other incorrect people picked. <laughs> yeah, <what? laughs> oh, so there's comedy. Here's the wholesome shows. How many do you get correct? I got all four of those. A man is like it. Oh, you didn't pick the love boat. I did not. I did not. I thought the first one was the toughest choice. Yeah, because primarily. Yeah, well, I dream of genie show. and the Brady Bunch. I thought was tough too. Uh, I think two of those are pretty tough. And Nanny and the Professor got like one vote. So I asked uh, Joe this question earlier. There were, in, in all these brackets, Lars, there were two sweeps. One you saw earlier, Seinfeld beat Veep. Yeah. Of, of what's coming up, there was one other sweep. Who would you think is the clear sweep candidate for what's left? Oh, I can't. I don't remember offhand what's left. Okay. All right. But, that, but when you were voting, there was nothing in there that said, oh, this is a clear cut winner over this other one. Nothing that I can remember. There's a couple where I sat there and was like, I don't mm -hmm. like either of these shows. Oh, I got it. I want you to hear. I want to see those when they come up. Has it happened already? Or did it one of them already happened. Yeah, it was the Wonder Years against Soap. <laughs> now, <laughs> now it was 30 Rock against whatever it was against. Uh, 30 Rock is against of Facts I of Life. Like the Facts of Life. Yeah, I, I don't like either of those shows. <laughs> I love I love the show. This is great. This is good. All right. We did we wholesome. Now? Okay. Talk variety. I took care. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, I gotta check your votes to see if you're lying because I have uh, I know it. You, <laughs> I got I got, no, I got nothing right. I got the first two right. I think I took Second City TV. Yeah. And I took Letterman, so I got the third one wrong. No. Once again, we don't know whether it's right or wrong. It's just basically oh, correct. Those, it's correct. Those I'm in agreement <laughs> with the uh, with the common folk on three yeah, of them. The, the, the incorrect the majority is what we're gonna have with to call the... them. <laughs> All right. What, now here. Okay. What? I got the first one wrong. I think you I took, took Perry Mason. Yeah, which is, that's definitely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got the other three right. Yeah, I like Rockford. I think Rockford's one of my faves. Yeah. Uh, that's another one where I was like, Hill Street Blues and True, True Detective season one is fantastic. Yeah. But the other ones are terrible. Yeah, so the well, whole composite the of the show. Terrible. The whole composite of Hill Street is yeah. really good. Yeah. Be safe out there. Very, very relevant to today. <laughs> Detective number two, and I got critiqued by someone saying, and this is from Burton, Lars. He came up and he said, isn't it Quincy M.D.? No, it's not Quincy M.E., the medical examiner. <laughs> Although I did make a mistake on three company instead of three's company. So. <laughs> okay, yeah. so. Mm -hmm. I was wrong on two of these. You're faltering. Yes. <laughs> Which two? How did you vote? Uh, I voted for Madlock. That was actually the right answer. So you were, you were okay. correct on that one. <laughs> okay. And I would have voted for Madlock too. I would have uh, voted for Another correct again. one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the only one you really got wrong was Charlie's Angels. <laughs> I took, I, you know, I never... Yeah, I always try to issue a Quincy uh, Emmy. Why? I yeah, so do I, especially because it's Quincy. But yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's no Z in there. Uh, I it never, I don't know. I I just struggled with it. Um, I think it did. But I, 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 was, I wasn't sorry. I almost went with Starsky and Hutch over Monk, but then I ended up going Monk. Oh, excellent. Yeah, and you got to go watch the Peacock thing that they have on him now. He's back doing a seven-minute little thing. Go go Google Peacock TV, Monk Returns. Seven-minute little bit. Go watch it. It's very enjoyable. Hosted by yeah. Seth MacFarlane. Not as funny as this show, but it's getting up. <laughs> Not as funny okay. as this show. <laughs> Mystery number three. Mystery Detective three.
Somebody say something. Miami Vice. I... Well, you and I, I already did this, so we. I know, but I'm recording it. I, I'm going to re- I'm going to use this as our show. <laughs> I think I got all four correct, but I'm not certain. Part of me's going. Did I take Magnum PI? But how would I have taken Quantum Leap over Magnum PI? Easy. It's the yeah. better show. <laughs> oh, I I can't remember how I voted on that one. I can tell you right now, you voted. Or which one? Which category? Mystery three. Mystery detective three. Mystery three. You took Magnum, Moonlighting, Miami, and MacGyver. Okay. A fan of alliteration, there, Lars? Are we? Yes, you did all the M's. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that the only letter you can read. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to go into what we call the drama section. And. Uh, you got all, f- no, you got three yeah. or four of these right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I took The Walking Dead. Mm, and you, yeah, you missed another one, actually. You got only two of the four right. I took 24. Oh, I took Homeland. Yep. Yeah, Walking Dead didn't, uh, I don't know, The Shield, people loved that. It came out big. Walking Dead uh, crept up, but I think Joe's point earlier was itself probably didn't sustain you know, although i do like the current the the last season i'd like to walk in debt i'm still waiting for the finale because they can't actually do it oh is that the other yeah they haven't filmed it yet so they stopped like one episode. well i think they filmed it they don't have the, uh, the fx people coming in to do the work because they got to be together to do oh what i read work. was that they hadn't even filmed it yet oh maybe i don't know that could be uh, drama two, Breaking Bad, Mad Men, Dallas, and Roots. I think once again we talked about this earlier. Roots was, was groundbreaking actually, television. Yeah, I was a, uh, um, I was surprised Roots was on here because that's a mini series. Um, but yeah, I got all four of these were correct, I believe. Uh, you took uh, Breaking Bad, Mad Men, Dallas, and Roots. Yep. Yeah. Joe, any just any. Uh, devastating news in this bracket for you? Not really. I mean, I, I did go Friday Night Lights, but again, that it looks like it was a one vote. So was yeah. that Lars's vote? <laughs> no, no. I, actually, no. It might have been. He may have. He may have put Dallas over the top. Right, because it's fifty-two yep. forty-eight, and he was the yep. last one to submit votes. So yes, he was the last vote. Does that mean two losers voted for Dynasty over Breaking Bad? Um, correction. Or- what? The word <laughs> losers is not correct. The word I believe okay. you're looking for is television aficionado. <laughs> okay, there. <laughs> That's what I see. That's what I Loser. see. So All right, we're going to lose know. ourselves into the next bracket and to the sci-fi right. one, which I got yelled at for my daughter. And some of these shows are not technically all sci-fi. Some of them are fantasy. So when we get to the round two, we're going to do sci-fi slash fantasy. All right, so I got two of these incorrect. Um, yeah, you and Joe X-Files, are really, right? you and Joe are X-Files. Yeah, I took X-Files over Stranger Things. And I took Deep Space Nine over the old version of Battlestar Galactica. Okay, now mm. the word loser applies. <laughs> oh, the old version of it is not good. The old version you like of it, for, the, for the 70s and what it was, it was a good show. Mm-hmm. I understand that. But Deep Space Nine is, I think, of the new Star Treks, the best one. Really? Uh, uh, new not, meaning better than the original series or after? No, the, no. I, my favorite is the original series of the Star Trek. Mm-hmm. And what? I think uh, the next generation one is it's actually kind of dated. Um, it feels old, but I still, I like Deep Space Nine. It's probably the, the least Star Trek, Star Trek, until the I recent still like, stuff. I still like the next generation. I think that, that's better than Deep Space Nine. Yeah, I, and, and I, wouldn't, I wouldn't really argue with this. It feels a little old for me when I watch it. I'm just like, well, this feels a little dated. Yeah. So uh, Sci-Fi 2. This is the other sweep. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, yeah, now that you... Uh, the Outer Limits is a decent show, but yeah, Twilight Zone, yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm. 
this one, I got three of the Edible. four right. Game of Thrones. I thought I went with Doc. Oh, did no. I go? I, I don't remember. I'm looking at your boats here. Twilight, Game, Quinn, and Star Trek, and a TNG. Yeah. I, 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 you know what it is? Game of Thrones, first five seasons, excellent. And really falls off the last two seasons like falling off a cliff but doctor who's gotten terrible too but that it's, was it's a, the longevity of that one there alone too part of the yeah but Edison. doctor who you're talking from what the 60s or the 70s i mean that's yeah quite a run but i the, the last two or three seasons have been atrocious yeah all right so those are all the winners and uh, so now what we're going to do, what I did was, is go to the second round. This is where you just joined, Lars, and we were getting there when you joined in. But so what I ended up doing was taking the, the brackets, taking the highest vote total person. And so this is, this is what's left of Mystery Detective. And Columbo got the most votes and Kojak got the least votes. So that's why they're paired. And it goes sequentially like that. So Columbo, Monk, Charlie's, Magnum, Moonlighting, and Hill were all the top seeds. And Lauren Auto, Miami, MacGyver, CSI, Rockford, and Kojak. That's how that works. Oh, some good battles in there. What do you think? What do you think the toughest battle is? Um, oh. I think the toughest battle in there or will Lars. be Magnum PI and MacGyver or Moonlight and Miami Vice. Uh, I think if you look at each one of these brackets, I didn't do it on purpose. I literally did it by the votes. They're very similar shows. Hill Street and Law and Order. You know, there's some, there's some, because it wasn't Hill Street, didn't have a lawyer in there as well. It was dating the police chief and stuff. Moonlighting and Miami Vice, very similar time frames. Magda MacGyver, both like, you know, gritty hero kind of people. Uh, Columbo and Kojak were always going against each other in that time frame. They were both like 70, you know, 70s type shows. And Monk and Rockford Files, two different eras. Same with Charlie's Angels and CSI, but interesting um, combo there yeah i'm hoping colombo comes out of this it's it's, it's my all-time favorite i don't know if it will i think it should be kojak but i don't know what i don't know what i would vote against colombo anything in there i thought that was that in the first between colombo and um perry mason i thought that was an incredibly that was a tough matchup tough one for me yeah, it was for me too, but I just felt that Perry Mason was too old. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought it was too you know, much of a, too uh, 50s like. You know, it's tough. It's like Honeymoon is kind of in that genre, a little bit older than Honeymoon. You know, yeah. More I, recent. I mean, it, it was tough for me because I do love both shows. You know, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I do love Perry Mason. Um, but I think when you look at a group voting on it, I think it was just too old. Yeah. You know, and Peter Falk as Columbo was just oh, was that right was there in the iconic. Phenomenal. So Lars, this is what's left for the drama section as he as he's making dinner and stuff. We got Sopranos against Dallas, Breaking Bad Shield, Mad Men Roots, West Wing twenty four. What do you think comes out of that bracket? Well, uh, Sopranos. Sopranos uh, the Shield. Mad Men and West Wing. Not that that's books. who I'm gonna pick. Okay, that's it. That's who you're gonna pick. Joe, what do you think? Uh, I think it's gonna be Breaking Bad over the Shield. Uh, the Sopranos of Breaking Bad win big on both. I think. I, I, I think Breaking Bad will win big on uh, on, the, on that one. I think that yeah. one will be close. Yep. And I find the Shield people just love the Shield. I know it, it beat. What did it? And everybody be? voted for is just in love with that show. That's James oh, Walker. Right? How do you pronounce his name? Chickless. Joke. Chokeless. Oh, oh, Michael Chokeless. <laughs> Michael. Michael. Chokeless. Yes. Yes. Chickless? I think Chickless. Yeah. Chickless. Chick Chicklet. Chicklet. Wait. Wait. If Lars is correcting us, we're wrong. <laughs> oh, not a chance. All right, Lars, come on back. Sci-fi, sci-fi. Give me your thoughts here. Uh, I think these are interesting, very interesting battles. Uh, you know, the Twilight Zone against Strange Things will be interesting. That will be older people against younger people. What's your crowd? Yep. Yeah, it's a mix. It's a mix. Well, Stranger Things beat X-Files, but Bales. Yes. 
barely. So I think Stranger Things may win. But Twilight Zone yeah. has a a a breadth of uh, and people. Everybody knows Twilight Zone. Even if you just talk, well, what are you? Are you from the Twilight Zone or something? People yeah, know. So I, for the others, I'll say it's Star Trek Lost in Star Trek. You don't think Game of Thrones is beating Star Trek Next Generation? No. Too many people had a bad uh, taste in their mouth the way it ended. And you don't think they have that same bad taste with Lost? I mean, I don't. Uh, no, no. Uh, not only I, about Star Galactic, though. Yeah, exactly. So it may it may come out when like so like when we get to comedy when the this is where we get back at Bill Cosby because we know now know the show he's going to be going up against. Uh, talk show variety, Carson versus his uh, Letterman versus his mentor Carson, and Conan uh, uh, versus Carol. I think Carson wins, and um, oh, but this is gonna be another younger versus older. I don't think any of the young, younger people even know who the hell Carol Burnett is. He's well, she got a lot of votes for us round though, right? She had a pretty big percentage. Yeah, I thought. Joe, yeah. you and she, she beat, that? didn't she beat Saturday Night Live? Yeah, she did. So, like, <laughs> None of the younger people know Saturday Night Live either. <laughs> it's still on. <laughs> it's still on, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's on. Yeah, but its its audience is slowly dying off. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that audience is dying off, the Carol Burnett show audience should be dead. <laughs> That's why I think Carol Burnett could be in trouble. I was watching TV the other night, and I saw the match game come on, and they had Carol Burnett, Tim Conway, Vicki Lawrence, and Jim Neighbors just walk onto the set with Gene Rayburn and played the game with other people. It was hysterical. Uh, Tim Conway is just a funny, funny man. So I, I, I'd, go, I'd go Carol, and I got to go Johnny, even though I love Letterman, but I got to go Johnny and Carol here and have them battle it out, see what happens. I mean, I, I, I yeah. There's a mistake here. Let's see if Lars can pick it out. <laughs> you get the Brady Bunch twice. Yeah, he's brilliant. He's amazing. It's a, so it's really Bewitched against the Waltons and Partridge Family against Brady Bunch. Ooh, Partridge Family against Brady Bunch. That's an interest. Those are really yep. similar shows. I mean, isn't the Partridge Family, I mean, same time period, very interesting one. Isn't the Pipe just like a ripoff of the Brady Bunch? No, not really. I mean, I think they were both on Friday nights in ABC. Yeah, but I wasn't think wasn't the Brady Bunch on first though? So the Partridge family, in a sense, tried to tap into that same audience. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I think Brady yeah. Bunch was making no. a hit. I think ABC well, I, said, I "Let's don't do think this. it was necessarily to copy it, but let's get two people." It, it's another it. network's right. version of oh, our version of the Brady Bunch. Yeah. And I think Bewitch crushes the Waltons only because everybody loves Elizabeth Montgomery. But I, I would agree. All right, here we go. This is the big, there's two big brackets of comedy shows. Did the same thing. Ranked them up to the first to the bottom. Seinfeld got the most votes. Benson got the least votes of the winners that advance. You know, so there's the two, Seinfeld two Benson brackets. thing, though, the Seinfeld Benson thing could be another 100 to zero. That could be, yeah. Uh, I would agree. Could be interesting. Uh, I think the one, two, three, the first four, the higher vote getter is going to win. I think the, the higher Simpsons. vote getter is going to win every time. <laughs> oh, I don't. I think the Simpsons beat Laverne. No, I mean well, the No, from the last round. <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm joking. Yeah. Then the Simpsons, <laughs> I think, wins. I like and your I thumb. Can you Frasier, get your thumb out of there? There you go. Frazier wins. I don't know who wins the last one. You think Frey should beat the whole family? That's interesting. Oh, I think Mash is going to. Oh no! Oh. Uh, I don't. I I don't know. You know, probably not. Not you're right, because younger people are too old for Frasier. I don't. I don't know. If you look at the I shows that you really watch on TV. I could watch a Seinfeld episode anytime. I could watch a Dick Van Dyke episode anytime. I could watch Happy Days. I could watch Cheers. Laverne versus Simpsons could be real interesting. Oh, I think the Simpsons win that. Uh, All in the Family and Frasier both. I, I, I could. I, I, I've turned on Frasier a couple of times. It, it hasn't held up as much, but I could watch a mess episode anytime. 
I could any I just turn it on and you know could be the the, the old mash with Wayne Rogers or the newer mash with uh, well, David Ogden Stiers. Like I can't remember the last time I saw a coach on TV. No. No. Yeah, it hasn't even been on in syndication in years. Yeah. yeah. I like Jelly Fab Rakes. No. So that's bracket one for comedy, and here's bracket two. And that, that's the last bracket. So Lucy versus Roseanne. Lucy wins. I think Lucy wins that. Get smart when uh I don't know. How how uh, uh male versus female. Oh, it's a good question. It's a, it's a pretty even mix. I think Friends Mary wins Tyler over Moore. Moore is going to be Get Smart. Is this where Cosby goes down to the Wonder Years? Just for the sake no. of... Cosby beats the Wonder Years. Well, I'm thinking Odd Couple wins. And for your sake, I hope Alice loses. Yeah, God, I hate Alice. I really don't like that show. Linda Lavin, Polly Holiday. Uh, do who is the other uh, actress? Uh, she played the the, the the ditzy one. Well, Beth Howland when Beth started. Howland and, and Vic Tabak, Vic Tabak, and Philip McKean, McKean, McKean's yeah. brother played the son. Yeah, uh, Nancy McKean's brother, Phil McKean. Yep. So these are the brackets, gentlemen. What do you, what do you think? Uh, I think it's fun to do. Did you anything that uh, we left off that um, would be uh, an atrocity? Joe, you mentioned a couple of shows that we left off last time. Joe, to Lars, that we the, mentioned a couple of those. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have liked to have seen um, Everybody Loves Raymond as a comedy. I did love that show. Yeah. You know, and since we had, what, seven comedy brackets, that was... How did what, Joe's wondering? Shows? How did that not make the cut? <laughs> well, out of fifty-six, I mean, you could have let Chico and the Man go. Really, I mean, you know, that's what people are saying. Lars, uh, you did petition hard, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't put How I Met Your Mother in. But... <laughs> oh, well, then... did you have Sanford and Son on there? Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. You voted against it. All right. Just curious, when you think of it, that's the only one. Like, I thought of Modern Family, Goldberg's, but that was too recent. Those were still kind of airing. I could have used the middle, but if I, I would, I actually would have gone, if I chose one of Patricia Eaton's shows, I would have gone with Raymond over the middle. But yeah. Raymond is actually a good, good pick. Didn't get a bracket. Well, we're sending this out tonight to the to the group to let everybody know round two's up. So let's see if our vote goes. And we'll come back next week and review the results. All righty. Yeah, that works. Thank you very much, Marley. Right. I recorded this. This is our show. We're going to rock and roll now. We're good. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. We, got, we have to just beep out Lars's crescent. That's okay. Let's see. Yes. And then uh, is anyone going to shave between now and then? Or is this, this is going to see each, each week we're going to have uh, a different I will event. shave so between it. now and then. Yeah, but are we doing it on Wednesdays? Because by the time it's going to grow back, if I do it tomorrow. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, what day am I preparing to be shaved for? I'm going to give these people a chance to go through this, but you know, it's, it's now that we know we got our core people, they're invested in it. The numbers will go out, and uh, uh, as soon as I get the brackets back. But that's how you're doing. 128 tallies of 32 people's votes. Oh, that was fun. Long time to do that. I got to figure out how to do this electronically, Lars. How do I get this in? <laughs> people can just go in and vote, 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 vote. You gotta build me one of these things. You get your spare time. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good look. All right. All right, gentlemen. It was fun. Thank you so much. I'll send you a copy of this uh, and you can download it. All right. All righty. All right. All right. See you all. All right. Have a good night, guys. All right. Bye. Bye.